Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Cubitas, which is a dice rolling race game where all of the dice have different abilities based on the cards that we've drawn for this particular game and we're going to try to roll as many feet as possible to get to the finish line. Just before we get started, there is a handheld and a static camera. You can switch between those in the description, there's links there. I recommend you turn on the subtitles to the Klingon channel because they will correct any mistakes I might make and playthroughs are only possible thanks to the support of my patrons. It's patreon.com forward slash slickerdrips if you would like to help out and keep these videos coming. Thank you very much to everyone who does that already. Hiya. Marty hadn't made his way onto the screen yet. I'm playing a two-player game today. The only thing that changes is you're just racing against one person. And yeah, the start player dice is going to come back around to you a lot faster. So we start off with seven light grey dice and two dark grey dice. Difference is the light grey dice, you just have a coin. Where is it? On one side of it, and that's it. And on the dark grey dice, you've got a coin and a foot. Foot is basically one movement. These coins are temporary coins that you can use to buy dice and sometimes movement with. There are, I don't think there are any on, oh, there we go. On this map, we've got a, a teleportation, a stroke launch pad space. And if you can pay eight coins, you get to launch yourself just over this water instead of having to go all the way around it. You can see the process of the game right here. In the roll phase, we're going to draw some dice. You start off drawing nine, but that can go up over the course of the game. You roll them. You move the hits, so hits are non-blanks, into the active zone, and then you decide, do you want to push or pass? So if you haven't got three hits yet, you might as well push. You can't bust until you have already rolled three things and then decided to push. That's when busting starts being a risk for you. Even if you bust though, it's not that bad because you start going up on this fan track, getting some rewards, getting to draw more dice and stuff, but hey, we'll, we'll see how that goes as we come to it. So this all happens simultaneously. So this playthrough is going to be a little bit longer perhaps than the actual game would be because some of these things would happen at the exact same time. So I can draw nine dice. The start player gets the start player dice. And uh, this is basically an extra thing that you roll. It doesn't count towards your dice limit and it can give you some more money and some more movement opportunities. And then I've only got nine dice. So in your first turn, that's all you're rolling. And yeah, as I draw more than nine dice, this is going to start being a problem, isn't it? Uh, I hope this stays on in the static cameras. I had to have the dice tray going off a little bit, but I'll roll them and do a pretty poor roll. We can move these to the active section. So I've got a couple of hits there, but a lot more misses. So I might as well carry on because I can't bust yet until I've got three hits there. So let's go again then and see if I can roll some more. I've got one more coin. So I would go into this round not being able to move at all. Although it's it's not that likely that you're going to get to move. It's a one in six chance on each of these dice, isn't it? I can keep going and try and get more stuff. Or I would have three coins. So let's look at the selection here. So I am using one of the preset sets <laughs> in the game. It does come with a load of presets. And of course, you can just shuffle up the cards. There are loads of each color. You can just shuffle them up and deal them out how you like. And it does recommend a track, but there are four different tracks as well that you can choose from. So tons of <laughs> variability in the game. Just double checked, it's race six, which promised crazy combo nonsense. So that's what we're looking forward to. I have changed a card in it though, because I don't like the grabby card. It's mean. So with three coins, what could I do? I could buy a Mr. Dog die. So they have this text on them. Run basically means in this run phase. If you have rolled the dog face, the dog ability will kick off. So this is gain two gray square. Gray square is currency that sticks around with you. You can store this up, but then you lose the die, not optional. It does have another face on it though, three coins. That's only temporary for that turn, but you would get to keep the die as well. The other thing I could afford with three is punch guy. Now the red dice are kind of combat dice, but you know, they, they don't necessarily do bad things to each other. It's all about having the most of the sword faces. So this has got two sword faces on it. The player with the most sword faces, the start player breaks ties gets to use this ability. Next round, white and green don't count towards your draw amount, and then you lose a red die, making it less likely you'll win next time. So that's probably not great yet, because I can't afford a white or a green die. Hi, Marty. Helping me make my decisions, of course. Uh, I think I'm going to roll and try and get a little bit more money. I could bust, of course, but let's hope that doesn't happen. It didn't happen, and this is a much better roll, I think. Uh, did anything else come out? No. So I think I'm going to stop there. Oh, did I get another coin? 
Maybe that flipped in my hand. I don't think it did. Uh, so these all stay in the roll section, and I'm going to have to roll these next time. But I'm deciding to pass, and so I will flip my marker over to show that I am done and ready for the run phase. At the same time as that, Little Glass Marty was rolling his dice and deciding what to do. So he's got two hits there and nothing else, so he might as well keep it going. And that's one more hit. So again, is it just three coins and buy a little dice? Or is he gonna he's gonna he's gonna try and go for bigger and knock everything off the table as he goes down? So he's got four coins again. I think he is really gonna push his luck. Uh, now I think he's bust. Marty is gonna be the one really pushing his luck in this game, I'm sure. So he's bust. What happens now? He loses all of these hits that he rolled, but in his uh, his bravery, pushing for so long, he gains a fan. And as he moves at this fan track, he will gain some of these permanent coins and eventually start gaining more you know, plus ones to his roll, which means that he's more likely to roll some more hits. Now he still goes into the run phase because if he had any stored up money, he would be able to spend them now, but he doesn't at the start of the game. So in the run phase, now you can use abilities don't have any special abilities to go through. Determine your total money. So my total money is one, two, three, four, five. And I've got a foot, so I can move forwards. Now what am I going to buy? Am I going to buy something that lets me generate some more money? Because maybe, maybe it's worth sticking around and building up eight money to jump over here. And you'll gain some money where you land too. And get to gain a fan, that's what that flag means. Where you land. We've got the jetpack here. When you're standing in this space, you double your remaining feet. I think I'm just... You can decide where to go forward, so you can just go straight up here. You can lose dice, so thin out some of your grey starting dice. I think I'm going to hedge my bets a bit. I'm just going to move there. Can go start from any of those points. And I have five coins, so I could buy... There isn't a three and a two, is there? I could buy a couple of Mr. Dog. With five, I could get the fast cat, select two dice from your draw zone, and roll them and any hits go into your active zone as if you'd actually rolled them, and it's got two feet on it as well. So a lot of help moving forward. That's not going to help me get that shortcut though, is it? Maybe I should go for Mr. Dog. So rolling stoned. If you were to bust, you can use this dice up, only if you've rolled one of its shield faces, uh, and then roll up to all of your grey dice that are in any zones, and if any of them hit, you don't bust and you can keep going. I think... Let's, let's think about this shortcut. Let's buy two Mr. Dog. So these go into your discard pile. I can't do anything with the money left over. I can actually save my leftover one because the start player die gives you a token rather than just a temporary circular coin. So that's okay. I haven't wasted anything. They all go into my discard now because I've spent them. Marty didn't have anything to use. He gets the start player die though into his roll zone and we start again. So we need to draw up to nine dice to roll them. Marty doesn't have nine dice anymore, has nothing in here, so that's when you refresh your discard pile. Same for me, all these come into my draw pile and we pick nine dice to roll. Marty still rolls all of his dice. I'm gonna leave behind a couple of light gray dice so I can roll my uh, Mr. Dog. And let's go, let's see what Marty can do now. Suddenly, same amount of dice, but I can't hold them now. Oh, so Marty has got two coins here, but temporary. And then one from that die and one from this die. Does he want to risk busting again? He could get two Mr. Dogs like I did. He could get two Punch Guys, but they wouldn't be that useful right now. I think he's going he's gonna to push his luck once. Mind you, they're, they're all one in six chances and uh, two in six, a one in three chance. After getting punished last time, he's going to just hold there. And let's see what I can do. Yeah, let's go. Apologies if you can still hear the reversing truck. Okay, we've got a doggy dog. Oh, so that means I will get two permanent coins, but then lose the die. So this is when you start thinking, do I want to intentionally bust so I can keep hold of this die and try and roll the three coins on it? See what we can get, because we can always buy another Mr. Dog if we get some good faces. So that is going to be four temporary and two more permanent. So I've got seven to spend if I don't bust though. I could keep going. I've got, you know, it's not much chance, but same as Marty, we had loads of dice. Maybe he wants to keep going. Maybe he'll change his mind. Let's... Oh yeah, we're supposed to have our stuff on roll as well. You flip when you said you finished. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be cautious. I'm going to be the cautious one. 
and yeah, this round Morty is as well. So I get two coins from this, and then I lose the die, and then I've just got money. So I've got four money to spend. So it's the same choice again. I think I'm going to go for another two Mr. Dogs. But these aren't helping me move, are they? What is going to help me move? The Rolling Stone has got a foot on it. Technically, maybe I'll maybe I'll go for that and try and avoid busting. Discard. Spent the money. They go into the discard. Everything else stays where it is. But I don't think... I've got six, seven, eight. I'm only going to be able to roll one of these next turn. Marty has his four to spend, and he is just going to go for a couple of Mr. Dogs to start off with. And all that goes into the discard. Start player die comes to me. And Marty's got two, four, six, seven. He's going to roll his Mr. Dogs as eight, nine. And I've got six, seven, eight. And I think... Now, this power wouldn't be as good because it's bring all of your grey dice in to stop your from busting, and they might have uh, coins on them. Maybe I go for a Mr. Dog. Not going to help me move, though, is it? Yeah, that's what I'm going for. So, yeah, I'm the first player again. I've got the die. I did have three more coins. I could have bought something better, couldn't I? Now, there isn't a seven cost one, though. Next up is eight. I'll show you those. I could have bought a fast cat, though. Good to save up some money, though. So I've got a foot. So that's some moving, and I just knocked that die. I've got nothing else. The viewfinder on the camera is helping me see these dice that I can't quite see. So that's two more coins. So now I risk busting, don't I? As soon as I've got a couple of faces. Mr. Dog is one in three chance, and I've got all of these dice. Maybe I should take a chance. It's not, it's not very much money, is it, to go into a round with? I've got one more. So, yep, yeah, still running the risk of busting. I've got six dice, though. One in six chance with six dice. That's guaranteed, isn't it? It just feels like this isn't much money still. But it's early days. I've picked them up now, though. Oh, no, I've bust. Okay. I was meant to be the cautious one. So I've lost those. I do have some money, though. I could still buy a die if I wanted to. I gave myself a fan now. And come join Marty as he is uh, in the background rolling and chuckling to himself. So nothing else there. He's just got two, so there's absolutely no risk in rolling again. Here we go. He's losing these Mr. Dogs, but that's a lot of dice faces. So he'd go in with three, four, five, six, seven coins. He'd lose both these dice. He doesn't want to lose these dice. He's going to try and get one more coin, and then he could buy the babe. He's got a foot. I don't think he should push it anymore. He's only got three dice here. No, he can't push it anymore. So he's going in with... Let's see. Let's, let's do these. He loses the dice, but he gets four coins. So he's got seven altogether. And, you know, they're the coins he'd have to spend to get uh, Mr. Dog back if he wants him back. And he's got a foot as well. He is just going to go straight forward because you can't go through the water. There are some abilities in the game that would let you go through water. Normally you can't. So in this case, I'm pretty sure none of the abilities let us. So he's got three. He's going to buy... With five, three, four, five, he's going to buy a fast cat. And then with his remaining two, he's going to buy back a Mr. Dog. And that's going to be his turn. Even though, yep, completely <laughs> disregarding turn order. But you can, unless something matters, you can just go at the same time. Until there's some kind of discrepancy, like someone's buying the last die or something like that. A lot of the time, you can go at the same time. I bust, but I do have these three coins. Maybe... Now, I'm going to spend two of them and buy a Mr. Dog. There we go. So I've still got one left over. They come... Oh, they don't come into the draw pile yet. New round. Marty needs that first player die. And what have I got? Three, six, eight. And bring one more die in. I'm going to bring in Mr. Dog. And then Marty has got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I think that's decent. And let's go again. So... Yeah, it's always the same number of dice, isn't it? But sometimes they feel bigger for some reason. Okay, we've got feet and two coins. So this is a bust risk if he keeps going. But that's, that's, that's nothing to go into a round with. He's got to go again. Okay, we've got the cat, which means select two dice from your draw zone and roll them into your roll zone. Let's just roll these just separately so I remember which ones they are. Any hits go into your active zone. And this one just goes into discard. So he's gained himself an extra coin from that. 
and none of these are anything. So what's he got? Five more dice to roll. One is a grey. That's a one in three, and Mr. Dog's a one in three. He is going into the round with two feet and three coins. Maybe he shouldn't be greedy. He's the, yes, he's the risk taker though, isn't he? He's got to go in. Oh no, I was sure that was going <laughs> to get him something. One more coin and he could have gotten like a rolling stone or something. But unfortunately, sorry Marty. He does get another fan though, which gives him a coin. And as for me, I do have my rolling stone now. So if I roll the shield face, I'm protected a little bit from busting. Or I got myself a Mr. Dog, and that's it. Then we've got, okay, we've got the shield now. So if I bust, I've got another chance at some redemption. But I would lose this coin at the very least. Yeah, I'm going to keep going then. So no, haven't busted. But now I'm kind of thinking, do I want to risk busting? Because <laughs> I'm only rolling three more. It's all your grey dice, isn't it? It's not just light grey dice. All of your grey dice. So that would be all of these, but I'll potentially lose a load of coins. What am I going in with at the moment? So this gets me absolutely nothing. The dots only matter if you've got an ability that tells you they matter. You can just ignore them. So I'm going in with three, four, five, six, seven. I would lose this. Eight. I could get myself a babe that does care about the dots. Yes, let's, let's do it. So Marty's bust again. Can't afford anything with a one, so we can ignore him. I am going to spend all of my money, and I lose Mr. Dog. Sorry, Mr. Dog. To gain myself the babe. What does the babe do? Uh, well, if you just roll it, you gain five coins. Temporary ones, but five coins in one dice. If you roll the special dotted face that I can't find now, then you also get a foot, but you lose the die. So let's see how that pans out. So all that goes into Discord. Marty lost his turn. Start player comes back to me, and we go again. We've barely moved, have we? Moved a space each. So I've got five, six, seven, eight. So this is really good because it would bring in a load of grey dice if I busted. Marty's got five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I only put eight in, two, four, six, eight, yeah. Nine we're supposed to have. Okay, then let's go. Let's see what I can get. So I've got, oh, I've got a permanent coin. And I've got five coins already at risk of busting, and I haven't rolled my shield yet. But I think I can do a lot better with these dice. Oh, I thought I'd bust then. In theory, I should do a lot better with these dice, but I haven't. I'm not going to risk it. I'm the, I'm the sensible one, aren't I? I'm just going to stand there. Marty, on the other hand, hoping to get some more use out of his fast cat. And he got a foot out of it. So it's living up to his name, but no more faces. So he can roll again with no risk. And he's got himself one more coin. Again, can push without any risk because he hasn't had three hits yet. Let's see. Nothing, but he hasn't had three hits yet, so he can't bust. And keep going. Oh, there we go. He's got a couple more coins, so a, not a great turn, but he hasn't really got that many great dice, has he? He is going to stop... Yes. He's going to stop there, and just with his four coins, he's going to get a couple more Mr. Dog. He's got a foot. He's just going to go forward. And I've got myself three, four, five, six. So I could, I could get another Rolling Stoned. I could get three Mr. Dogs. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. That suddenly sounded good when I said that. I'm going to, I'm going to get three Mr. Dogs. <laughs> Let's see if this works out. I'm not going to get to use them yet, though, am I? Three, six. Nine. No, I'm not going to get to roll any of them yet. Start play goes back to Marty. He spent all his. Yeah, he spent his foot. So he has got himself five, seven, eight, nine. And I've already got mine decided for me, haven't I? Flipping these at all. It's only us, isn't it? We understand. So let's do Marty. He's the start player. What can he get? That's three four coins and no risk of busting what else we got oh here we go this is the turn oh was that i think that was a coin when he rolled it so still got a few to roll but that is seven coins and a foot he's not going to risk that and it's crazy but he's not that crazy i have rolled nothing 
Oh, here we go. I've got some bust protection. <laughs> Always good to have. And nothing else. I've got another coin there. I think I've set this up terribly, haven't I? I should have done it left-handed and I've put everything on the <laughs> right-hand side. And, oh, okay, I'm, I'm not out yet. And I've got the, I've got the superhero grade eye, haven't I? I'm not worried about busting. At the moment, I've got a foot and three coins, but I think we can do a lot better than that. Here we go. So that is five, isn't it? I don't really want to bust right now. Even though I do have that protection and I'll grab all of these grey dice, that is five. I've got no stored coins, so that is nine coins. And it's not the dotted one, so I don't lose it. Nine coins and a foot. Yeah, let's go. What can I get with nine coins? I could get another babe or I could get the cheese stands alone. So if you roll this die, if you roll the cheese face, you must push at least once. That's not optional. So if you weren't at risk of busting, that's fine. But, you know, it might cause you to bust. And then running is three feet. I'm going to go for, though, the babe. That's just what I'm sticking with. I'm going to have another babe. I want to get rid of some dice now, though. I'm not happy about this. Marty, he's... I got a foot as well, didn't I? I haven't moved. I'm going to move there. Ready to <laughs> try and buy this really expensive space. And jump over. Marty has got a foot. He's going to just keep going normally, slow and steady. And he's got seven coins. So can't quite afford the babe. But he has got... See, his fast cat didn't quite pay off this time. But he could get a fast cat and another Mr. Dog. Sounds good to me. I think he should do that. Yeah. He's going to go for fast cat, Mr. Dog. That's his seven coins. And all of that can go into his discard. Pass the start die and go on for another round. Right. So I've got two dice. So all these are going to come into my running out of space to do it one-handed. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, I'm just going to pick everything that's not greys. And that's going to be fantastic if I roll my defense face. Marty's already got five, seven, nine. He's not going to get to roll any of his juicy new dice. But anything he buys this turn will be straight in his draw pile. So let's have a look at what we can get. So I've got... Oh, wow. Wow. That is one miss out of all those. I haven't rolled my shield, though. I've rolled a foot on it, so... Definitely not going to risk another roll there. That's pretty fantastic. I'm losing that, aren't I? But... So I could try and force a bust. But I think I would be crazy to do that, because I have, haven't I got... I've got the foot to go on there and the coins to go across it, and yeah, that's... I would be mad to re-roll that, I think. As for Marty, I hope that all went on the static cam, where of like half of the dice tray not being on there. Let's roll some hits. Does he want to keep going? Here's the risky one. But maybe he wants to keep... Just keep on moving. He only gets two coins, doesn't he? Oh, that, oh he gets four. He's going to build up. He's going to have a slow turn for now, but he's going to build up. <sighs> is he, though? No, he, he sees what is going on over here with mine. Oh, he's bust, <laughs> so maybe he should have just stuck with it. He has got now, though, another coin. So he's bust those. He's got another coin, and where are the hands? Oh, they're over here in the same place. He's now got a plus one hand, so he is going to roll ten dice every turn now. As for me, let's sort out these... Two feet. Well, actually, I only need one foot to get on there. Use my first player foot to go on here. It costs eight coins to travel along this teleportation space. I am going to spend... See, what have I got all together? I've got ten all together, so I've got two left over. It's a bit of shit. I would like you know some trackers or something for the temporary coins. So I've got to just keep it in my head now that I've got two floating around. I'm paying eight to go across there, which gets me two permanent and a fan. We'll move up in a fan and get another permanent. So that's three permanent coins in there. I've got two temporary left over. I've got a foot. So let's go. F well, let's go forward, actually. We could get rid of a grey die in a couple of spaces. That's another foot. And then the dog is two permanent, and I'll lose the dog. So I'm five. And so now what are we on? This is. 10 coins and a foot, and I've got two spares. I've got 12 coins and another foot. So another foot puts me here. And now, oh dear, maybe 
I don't want that. See, what these red lines mean is, for every red line that Marty is behind me, he gets to roll an extra die. So going one more space forward, he's going to get to roll another die. I'm going to have to just stick with it, though, I think. I've got 12 coins, though, just from these, and I've got all of these leftovers. I've got to buy a dinosaur, haven't I? Shimmy, shimmy, Dino. Dino. Uh, if you roll the dinosaur face, it's only a one in six, but gain a foot for every one of your active white and grey dice. And I do still have all of my grey dice. So I think I should definitely spend one. So I've got 13, and I'm going to buy that crazy expensive dinosaur. And then what have I got left here? Got one, two, three, four left. So I do lose a babe, though. Four, sadly, isn't going to be enough to buy myself a fast cat. I think I'm, I'm buying myself some more Mr. Dogs. It's just going to be uh, Mr. Dog City. Mr. Dog Central over here. So that was the round, because Marty bust and he can't buy anything with one. But he's going to get to roll. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve dice. So there's five. Choose his best ones. Seven, nine, ten, twelve. I still get to roll nine. And I think six... Eight. I can bring one in from my discard here. Let's let's go for the for the dinosaur. If that pulls, if that pays off, and I get a load of grey active dice, that that could work out, and then have a great turn next turn. Would like to thin out my dice, so let's have a look at Marty's hopefully crazy good roll. What's he gonna get? He's gotten a couple of feet. And nothing else. That is three faces, though. Really, frustratingly, that's three active. So he could bust, but I've got a good feeling. He's got so many dice here that surely he's not going to bust. Okay, he's got a cat, which means now he gets two more. And if they're active, they go in his active area. They're not. He's got a coin, a coin, and nothing. <sighs> Doesn't want to waste all of these dice on a bad roll like that. He's gonna he's gonna go again. And what's he got here? Permanent coin, a three. There's still plenty to be rolled here, but I feel like that maybe is where he should leave it. Yeah, he's gonna stop there. As for me, watch me get the dinosaur straight away. I haven't yet, but this could be where it happens. There we go. I'm not going to re-roll again because right now that is three feet. Yep. I'm just going to pause right there. So Marty gets a permanent. He's already used the cat. And then he's got two feet. He gets two more permanent from the dog. And then loses the dog, doesn't he? So he's got five coins, which could get him another cat. Yeah, he's going to get another cat. And then he is going to buy, he's got four stored coins. He's going to buy himself and Mr. Dog back and a punch guy, because now he's got a fair few white and white do not count towards his draw amount the round after he uses this. So I, I don't know if the timing works out for him, but if he just includes the red next time and not the whites, he could have a massive turn the one after. And then he's got two feet which means, uh, does he want to lose a grey die? Or does he want to try and catch up? He's going to lose a grey die because he still gets to roll a load of things. So one on there, lose a die. He's just going to throw away. It can be a die from anywhere. Just gonna, he's going to throw away a light grey from here. So he can include something maybe better from his actual section. That goes out of the game. And as for me, I've got three feet. One, two, three. Uh, this lets you gain any die up to a cost of four. Uh, I can lose a die. I'm going to throw away a light grey, even though they are they are kind of good for me, aren't they? But I've still got plenty of greys in there, I feel like. Then I've got three coins and no permanent coins, actually. I've only really got one green, as much as I'd like to maybe compete with Marty with that. I'm, I'm going to buy. There are no more Mr. Dog dice available because we've just got them all over here. But yeah, that's that's all I'm going for. So I've got quite a lead now. What? Oh, I need the start die back. So I've just got nine. So four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. I feel like this would be a good time to roll the green. That's mine. And Marty has still got 12, because he hasn't gone past that red line yet. So there's four, five, and then these come over. Six, seven, eight, nine. He could include the whites. 10, 11, 12. Let's, let's, yeah, let's, let's put some uh, browns in there as well. He could include the whites because he can have them next turn because his draw pile is going to shuffle. It's going to get redrawn. So yeah, he could use them this turn and next turn and draw all of his dice probably next turn. So I've got him in my hand. So let's roll Marty's first. He's got, oh no, it looks like he's getting a ton of money, but losing all is Mr. Dogs. He did get the combat face, though. Unfortunately, no cat faces. I don't think he can risk re-rolling that. He's going to stick right there with his first roll. As for me, no dinosaur, but I have got my shield now. I've got my bust protection. So I'm... Oh, I, th I think I'm going to go again, because I keep the dog and the three coins no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to keep my bust protection, but I've got... I've got the babe, but I've rolled the dot side, so I'm going to lose it. And yeah, let's let's try and make use of this bust protection that <laughs> I've paid handsomely for. So I've bust, but I can spend the green and then grab all the grey dice. So I am potentially making this way worse for myself, actually. I'm losing a load of coins in this. I do get to re-roll the brown again. Oh no, I, I just rolled the greys, don't I? Roll up to all of your grey in any zone. So I could have left those. I'm not sure what was there. I've picked them up now. So as long as I roll something, I don't bust. So I rolled two more coins there. So I am a bit worse off than I was before. But I think I'm going to keep pushing my luck. I've got loads of dice back again. There we go. Another dog. Doesn't mean I'll lose it. But that is, I think, more than I had before. I don't know. Maybe it's just what I had before. I'm going to stick with it anyway. So let's see. Four permanent coins. But I lose the dice, so I get some back in the supply now. And then, I'm not going... I have, I've got one foot, actually, from the babe, so I lose this. One foot, and then the babe gave me five coins. Five, ten, thirteen coins. You know what? <laughs> Go for another dinosaur. There we go. Done. That turn over. I, I have got the four coins that I could spend. But I think... No, I'm, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to hang on to them. Maybe buy another dinosaur or a cheese or something. Okay, Marty. He's going to get himself eight coins and then the dogs go away. He's got this, so I need to somehow remember that next round is white and green. I'm going to, I don't know, put that there. He does lose that red die, but there's no kind of remembering that that's going to kick in. He's just got one temporary coin, but he can combine it with these. He's got his eight, hasn't he? He's going to go for, since he's gambling anyway, the cheese stands alone. It's going to force him to push, but potentially give him three feet of time. And then he's got three right now. He's just going to go one, two, three. So he's caught up a little bit, but I'm probably going to go past another red mark again soon. So Marty gets, they go into the discard. Marty gets the start player die. He is drawing 10, 11, because there's just one red line between us now. But white and green don't count, so he can... So they go in there, he's got four, seven. Bring those in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, he's only got one more die than that total, but because the white don't count, he just draws all of his dice for this turn. Loses that red. I'm still just drawing nine. There's five, seven. And I'm going to put in one dinosaur. And maybe the green's good to have because that will bring more greys in. Yeah. Okay then, so let's see. Marty roll all of his dice. Maybe he shouldn't have gotten rid of a light grey because he'd get to roll it now in this crazy roll. But he just gets, out of all those dice, a cat and a number one. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, the cat can't draw any more dice. He wanted the foot probably from the cat this round. Come on, jeez. She gets another cat that he can't use and two coins. So now the possibility of busting comes out. And yeah, for all of these dice, I don't think it's helping him that much. 
there's a couple of feet. He wants to try and get the cheese. He's got all of these dice. Come on. Come on, cheese. One more foot. Well, the cheese means he's going to have to roll again. He's going to have to just pause it, I think. I, I don't think he can give up all of those feet. He's got to try and stay in it. That's what I think anyway, because he, yeah, at the same time, I'm potentially rolling a load of feet on this. So three coins. If I roll the, the dinosaur face, I haven't got my bust protection, though. And now I could bust. I've got... Oh, wow. There you go. I think another dice hit it, but <laughs> here is where the combo pays off. I've got... Well, let's just do dinosaur face is every active grey. And white, but I haven't got any white dice. That's three active greys. That's three, four feet right now. And what was that on three coins? Now, this teleporter here needs seven feet to get over it. I don't think I'm getting that. So I might have to go just normally around here. I could maybe do this one, though. Six coins. One, two, three, four. So that is a fan and a permanent coin. Permanent coin. And the fan gives me a permanent coin and gives me a plus one now. And then I've got six coins. Maybe I should get some white dice since they count for the dinosaur. Yeah, so I've got six and a cat costs five. So I've got one spare. And then how much have I got to spend here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to spend five more and get another one. There we go. And then all that's used. Marty, they don't do anything. He's got three feet. One, two, three. He's going to get rid of a grey die. Uh, not the one that's about to give him some coins. And then he's got three coins and non saved so i think he's gonna buy a punch guy now he hasn't got one again and that's his turn because he's still yeah he's still one red behind me maybe marty could build up enough to jump over here i don't know if he got his cheese seven feet is a lot though isn't it but it, it's a massive advantage going over there you have got to come out of the water again but that could be massive i think though i don't know how long i've been going but i think you get the idea of the game i am going to go all the way to the end of this race how could i stop playing at this point uh, but uh, i'm going to leave it for part one you can join me in part two that'll be coming up on the screen very shortly or it's in the description now or if you've seen enough and you'd like to know what i think you can link to that in a similar way thank you very much for watching though and i'll see you in whichever part you choose bye everyone